Hey Aquarius, welcome to your monthly reading for February 2021. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. We are going to go through some general messages. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. Um, yeah, I also posted a pick a card reading for February. So you can also check that out. Um, and I did a singles love pick a card. I'm going to be doing more of those. So if you want to be notified of those, make sure you hit the little notification bell. Happy birthday to you guys. This is Aquarian season. So if I forget in my other videos, I want to say it now. <laughs> All right. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Like and subscribe as well if you enjoy the messages if you're new here welcome all right what do we have for aquarius for february 2021 what have we got going on aquarius What does Aquarius need to know? Just wants me to keep shuffling. So your current situation, we have the King of Cups. Crossing that is the Ten of Swords. Uh, your subconscious energy, we have the Wheel of Fortune. In the past, we have the Fool. What's on your mind is the Seven of Swords. Uh, the Ace of Swords is in your future energy. You are the Seven of Wands. The what's around you but that you may not see is the Two of Wands. Your hopes and fears, we have the Two of Pentacles. And your outcome is the Sun, which popped out earlier. All right. Six of Swords is your bottom of the deck energy. Hmm. There is like, there's somebody here who maybe is weighing their options. I don't know, we're gonna have to clarify this one. There's definitely something I feel like could be ending with a water sign. Um, what else does Aquarius need to know for February? There was another sign that had the Seven of Swords in there um, for what's on their mind. Okay, so you guys got two. So we got Druid, hold the space, and then we got Shaman, trust in higher forces. So we do in the subconscious have the Wheel of Fortune, which can be like destiny, divine, you know, that sort of thing. Um... Bottom of the deck, we have be open to healing information. So there may be some information that's coming towards you. Regardless, I feel like you need to be open to it. I see some of you moving on. And some of you I'm getting, the message I'm getting is like, be comfortable with where you are. Like be okay with where you're at. Hold that space for yourself because eventually you'll grow. But right now you just need to be where you are is also what I'm getting. Uh, your current situation is the King of Cups with the Ten of Swords attached to it with um, for what's crossing it. 
Um, for some of you, you've lost love for a situation or lost um, kind of your joy or happiness towards a situation or a person. For others of you, this is like a relationship that physically ended with a person. So again, we're going to clarify your subconscious energy. We have the wheel of fortune. So um, I feel like there's a part of you that um, is tr trying to trust in the higher forces. I feel like subconsciously you do believe that there are higher forces that are contributing to your life and where things are going. Um, but in your conscious mind, we have the seven of swords. So there might be a part of you that's deceiving yourself a little bit. Like your mind is kind of taking over and making you not trust what's happening. Your recent past, we have the fool. So some sort of risk possibly, or a new beginning that happened in the past. Um, which is interesting because in the near future, we have the ace of swords. Also something new. Clarity. Success. Um, victory. So again, we're going to clarify and see you in this situation is the seven of wands. There is some sort of resistance, but with two sevens here, I do see that um, there is um, an aspect of the divine being on your side, especially with that wheel of fortune as well. But you're almost like trying to resist the wheel from turning. Um, what's around you that you may not see is the two of wands. So possibly a decision coming in um, or somebody coming in. Uh, someone that you've had space or distance between with this person. Uh, your hopes and fears, we have the two of pentacles. Um, I think a little bit of you, what I just got was like having too many options is a fear. Um... Like you're hoping for balance, but you're also fearing that it, you things could easily become unbalanced. And then in your outcome, we have the sun, which is happiness. So something takes a different turn here. Um, so let's see. Uh, we have the six of swords at the bottom here uh, with Bible. Apparently the three of pentacles wanted to come out <laughs> as well with that. Um so some of you are, are moving forward with, um, you could be learning something or traveling to go learn something as well. Like maybe some of you are taking a course. Some of you could be uh, moving homes, like building a new home that's away from you. All right. What is this um, King of Cups here in this situation for Aquarius? What is this King of Cups and for the current situation? We have Strength. me more for this king of cups we have justice give me one more card for this king of cups one more for this king of cups please We have the death in reverse. So some of you definitely could be dealing with a Scorpio, possibly. Okay, so somebody is like wanting to, I feel like this King of Cups is wanting to overcome a situation. They're wanting to create some balance in a situation, but they don't, it's like they don't want this situation to end. But with the Ten of Swords crossing, I feel like it is ending. Somebody doesn't want somebody else to move on a water sign they want to have success with you now what is this ten of swords what is this ten of swords here for Aquarius that's crossing them this month what is this situation with this ten of swords three of swords Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. Two of Cups. 
So someone's not happy in this situation and it is coming to an end and I feel like it's going to break somebody's heart here. Um, like I said, I feel like one person really wants to make this work and the other person is like, it's it's over. Like kind of one of those situations because I also see the four of cups, <laughs> the four of pentacles, and the Four of Swords all at the bottom of the deck. This is somebody resisting and not being happy and wanting to isolate themselves, wanting to stay by themselves, wanting to remove themselves from this situation. And someone's going to need to heal from this Three of Swords. Someone's going to need to take the time to be able to do that. So I feel like somebody, like somebody's very unhappy with the way this situation is going and is wanting to end it. And the other person is trying to almost like salvage it. What is this wheel of fortune here in the subconscious energy? We have the hanged man. Tell me more about this wheel of fortune. So there's a need, um, it's an interesting message because I don't normally get this with the hanged man, but a need to be patient. Um, kind of like sit in this energy because I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is going to change this Ten of Swords into the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like it's, you're waiting, you've been waiting for this, you've been waiting for things to kind of like come to fruition, move on into a better place to kind of like have some sort of a victory here. And I feel like it might kind of feel stagnant as well. This relationship, I feel, became stagnant. And so it's like there was needing, there's a new cycle that's needed, uh, is needing to be created here. What is this fool card in the past? <laughs> we have the fool. <laughs> um... Tell me more about this fool card in the past. What is this fool in the past? Four of Swords, the World, and the Lovers bottom of the deck is the three of wands. I almost feel like, okay, so my first thought when the fool showed up was that in the past, some of you had already been maybe exploring other options when it comes to love, uh, even though you were still in your current relationship. Not so much the fact that like, you were cheating per se, but it was like, you started to kind of wonder, you know, like, oh, well, you know, I like this person. It's like, you know, when, you know, when you're in a relationship and you're like, when you're in a relationship that you enjoy being in, you, it's like, you just see that person. You don't really see, like, yeah, you, other people are attractive and whatever, but there's not that like, there's not that want to kind of pursue that option or that kind of questioning of like, oh, I wonder what that would be like. I feel like because this relationship was um, possibly not really going the best, I feel like there was a part of you that wanted, wanted to go outside your relationship. I don't know if you really did, um, but you were definitely thinking about ending your relationship with this person in the past. I feel like it's now finally coming to fruition this relationship because I feel like it's the other person that wants to keep this going but I think you've already kind of made up your mind about kind of like looking out at other options um, and pursuing other options or just like moving on in general so I don't feel like you're doing anything wrong it was just like you were starting to kind of see the writing on the wall when it came to your relationship um, and it like it's interesting because I don't usually get the message of like, 
you leaving another person. Um, usually it's like, oh, somebody left you, right? That kind of like typical stuff. But I feel like this is just like a straight, like straight up, I just feel like it's a connection that is just like lost its spark. It's lost its fire. Um, and it just wasn't giving you what you wanted. Um, now it's interesting because we'll see what this seven of swords is. Um, this could have been somebody else maybe that went outside the relationship and while one person was kind of just keeping to themselves, the other person was kind of out and about. Um, so I do feel like, I don't really feel like it was necessarily a malicious move, I guess is, is what I want to say. Let me see. What is this seven of swords? And like I said, I don't know if there was any true action. It was just like, I'm moving on from this situation. This in, in whoever's eyes this was, it's like the, the relationship was kind of already over at that point. It, it wasn't going anywhere. Um, I feel like there possibly wasn't a lot of even communication between you and this person who you were dating um, or with in a relationship. And uh, you were starting to kind of look at like, okay, well, if I end this, now what? Right? So what is this Seven of Swords? What is this Seven of Swords? We have the Seven of Wands and the Hermit, both in reverse though. With the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I think there's like a part of you there's a part of you that's definitely reflecting on the past, kind of like looking at the good times, the bad times, everything that you and this person went through. And I feel like there's a part of you that um, is possibly just like open to, I feel like you're open to explore, to talk about things. Um, I feel like you've done a lot of soul searching and you're ready to kind of move on. Like I feel like it's interesting though because the seven of wands is upright in your current situation. There's a need for you to want to release this Seven of Swords energy. Again, it is another seven um, that could be this, um, like the universe. I'm not sure exactly what this, what is this Seven of Swords? What is, what's the sneakiness or the deceptiveness? You could also be no longer keeping that to yourself. Um, that you're looking at other people or that you're, I feel like at one point you were kind of, you know what, even just keeping things to yourself, this relationship and where it was going, I feel like you've maybe been keeping that to yourself and not, you know, so it's like if you were seeing the writing on the wall for this relationship, it's kind of more like, you know, this, um, you're ready to kind of release that. You're, you're not wanting to keep it to yourself anymore and you're wanting to just kind of like open up, I think about this to this person or just even in your head, you're kind of just like thinking about this a lot is kind of what I see. It's like, you're not, you're not keeping the secret to yourself that you're not happy in your relationship. You're kind of talking about it or wanting to at least. What is this Ace of Swords here in the near future? What is this Ace of Swords in the near future for Aquarius? Too many. Ace of Swords for Aquarius in the near future. So we have the Three of Pentacles. And the Ace of Swords. Getting a lot of duplicates here. Nine of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Empress. Some of you are going to be gaining like some victory. Victory in like a situation that you put a lot of effort or work into. Like you're getting recognition for something. Uh, something that you've already worked towards. Now, with that being said, I feel like you've been a little stressed about when it's going to grow. Some of you, it could be something financial with regards to your work. 
Uh, we have the Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And again, two more sevens. You're very guided right now. Um, whatever is happening in, in your life, good or bad, however you feel about them, it's happening for a reason. And I think you do know this with that Wheel of Fortune in the, in the subconscious. It's, you know that, but it's, it's the fact that um, it's trusting that a little bit more. There's a difference between knowing and trusting. Um, and I think that you've been waiting for something to grow to manifest, whatever this is coming in in the, in the near future here. Um, some of you, it's like the rebuilding part. You're, you're, um, you're maybe starting fresh. You're needing to rebuild and you're kind of waiting for things to grow. You're kind of waiting for things to evolve and to ma manifest. I feel like there's something new that you're kind of nurturing here. But you're also needing to hold the space to allow yourself to heal, right? Holding the space to let yourself heal and work through all this energy here. Because this is, this is heavy. This like past kind of currenty type energy with this like relationship issue. Um, it, that's heavy, right? And it's heavy, heavy not only just for yourself, but also because of the other person, right? Now, what is this Seven of Wands in um, we have the Magician? What is the seven of wands here for their current energy for Aquarius? Oops. So we have the magician, the six of cups and the queen of pentacles with the nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Um, yeah, some of you aren't wanting to stay in the past, right? You're trying to manifest yourself like out of your past, I think honestly is what you're trying to do. And um, yeah, it's like you're saying, I don't want this, which isn't necessarily the right way to manifest. Um, financially, I see yourself doing very well for yourself. I feel like that will be evolving. I do kind of see you going and being single, possibly, um, or wanting to be single, like not wanting to be in a relationship anymore. Um, but I also feel that like, so when we manifest, instead of saying, I don't want this, you always have to say what you do want. Because, um, so if you say, I don't know, I'm trying to think of like what the universe could bring in towards you. So if you say like, I don't want someone who is going to betray me. All, all the universe hears is the betray me part, right? And so they don't know the difference between I don't want and I do want. They just hear the thing. And so when you're manifesting, you have to be very clear about your intention behind the manifestation. And saying what we don't want um, doesn't always um, benefit us. We usually get the opposite or that, that exact thing because we're saying that we don't want it, which is inadvertently saying that we do want it in a weird way in the universe's eyes i don't know if that made any sense but <laughs> um i feel like if you're saying i don't want this you need to switch your verbiage to say i would like this right um so that would be my suggestion to you with that but i feel like a lot of you are just like not wanting to go back into the past you're not wanting to have a new beginning when it comes to something in the past you're kind of resisting that and i feel like i feel like that kind of goes in with this person wanting to fix things and i don't think you're on the same page so what is this two of wands in your energy surrounding you king of cups yeah five of pentacles there's definitely distance between you and this person this king of cups you've definitely let them go you've ghosted this person i feel not i don't want to say ghosted they feel abandoned by you um, and uh, there is definitely distance between the two of you with the five of pentacles, the two of wands, the two of wands can also mean distance. Um, and I feel like again, five of pentacles, like you guys aren't talking, um, or you won't be talking. I feel like there wasn't great communication with each other in the past. I feel like it started to kind of fade out and I feel like it's just like the cycle just kind of kept completing itself. Uh, we do have the page of wands here 
with the emperor. So there could be also another person. You may be needing to make a choice uh, between this king of cups in your current and then a new emperor here. And I see that with the two of pentacles as well, that there could be a choice. So what is this two of pentacles in the hopes and fears for Aquarius? Okay. So the chariot, the two of pentacles... The Page of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. So you have a, a, no, a choice. I almost said an, a noise, which is like an option and a choice, I guess. Um, you can choose to move forward. Or you can choose to reconcile. The choice is yours. Um... I feel like you you want to move like with the two of pentacles being your hope or your fear i feel like there is a wanting to move forward i think there's almost a fear of like am i going to find somebody new right there could be a fear of starting something new just in general going out dating all those things that could be um a little bit of a fear, right? Starting over. But you do need to make that choice. I feel like you already kind of have. You're just kind of hesitant now in the fear part. So what is the sun energy in the outcome here for Aquarius? What is this sun energy? Clarify the sun, please. Wow. Four of pentacles <laughs> and judgment in reverse with the five of cups. You're not budging on your decision that you made because I feel like you want happiness. You want to be happy. I feel like you feel bad possibly about the decision you've made, um, but you know you need to or you could just be upset about this situation, but I, you do know that you need to go towards something new to be happy. Um, as much as it sucks, you're definitely moving on from this situation, unfortunately. And I almost feel like it's hard because you know the other person is going to be upset because they do want to still try and make things work. That sometimes makes it really hard. Okay. Let's see what your a message is. So this is the Sacred Creators Oracle. So some of them can be businessy related. If they are, I'll just convert it from a relationship side of things. Some of you, this could even just be, I mean, I see it more love, but maybe you're leaving a job and they don't want you to leave or whatever, right? Starting something new. So what is it that Aquarius needs to know? So we have choose who you are becoming and it was in reverse and it's another seven. <laughs> um, interesting. It's another seven. Lots of sevens here. Again, your trust in higher forces, they're definitely with you here. Okay. So with it being in reverse, you get the self-care message. Okay. So your self-care message is not making a choice unnecessary delays, playing it safe and straddling two average paths instead of stepping into one extraordinary trail, the need to over control your future. Well, if this isn't fitting. <laughs> um, so if you guys aren't making a choice, you're needing to make a choice. I feel like you already have. It's just following through with it. Um, but also trusting in the higher forces, like don't try to control the whole situation, right? Okay, so we have the future belongs to who you are becoming. A multi as a multi-passionate, multi-talented, creative being of infinite potential, choosing who you want to be can feel overwhelming. If you've reached a fork in the road, it's time to make a choice that will allow you to grow into the most beautiful version of you. 
This card is about movement as you make uh, sorry, this card is about movement as you make, as you chase your dreams and the person you become along the way. Uh, here's the juicy secret. The two of you are intrinsic intrinsically linked. You may feel blocked until you take inspired action towards one goal. It's time to move forward, sacred creator. Your decisive and determined action will be a way for you to divine your desire to define your desire to the universe. Run in the direction of your dreams and confidently guide the unfolding of your path. Know that by not deciding, you are making a choice to remain in the same spot. And if there is one universal truth of creating things, it's that inaction is the exact opposite of what you are building. Make strides towards your dreams now. So questions you can ask yourself, what lessons did you need to experience in order to, to, in order to stand exactly where you're standing right now? How has what you are working towards shifted and expanded along the way? Is there anything about what you've been building that feels too small for you, your big scare, uh, sacred future? Sorry. And have you been making choices based on what's possible today instead of what's possible tomorrow? So interesting message there because I think it's all about, in a, in a love situation, it's all about making choices and not staying stagnant in relationships and I did say I think believe I believe down in here that the relationship has been a bit stagnant already and I think it's this whole month for you or part of this month at least is you deciding am I going to stay in this relationship and stay stuck or am I going to take that ace of swords in the future and grow and evolve um Again, I feel like things could have been stagnant for you and you're wanting to evolve or you've gr outgrown this person even, right? Um, and so there is a decision for you to possibly move on here. And I mean, the decision is up to you, but whatever decision you end up making, I feel like in the outcome with the sun there, whatever decision you make, um, you're going to be very firm in it because you know what's going to make you happy. So hopefully that was helpful for you, Aquarius. It was kind of specific. Um but I feel like it was important nonetheless. So <laughs> um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, let me know if this resonated with you down in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoy these messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.